Well, good evening, everybody. Good morning, or good evening, wherever you are. Right now, here where I am, it is evening with my boy Sino. So, we are going to continue the quest of a song of far, the new quest of 3.1. So, last time, last episode, we knew that. Verka knew Razor's parents and we saw some kind of one the results as of a single game. game. But it's bound to run out sooner or later. Okay, so as I can say, this episode won't be much commentary as I always do. This is just going to be sometimes I'll be talking, sometimes I'll be muted. So I hope you enjoy. See you. Have you heard? It's something awful awful happened happened again. Good deeds and bad. In the end, all will be placed upon the skin. I do try to lighten the mood sometimes, but the best judge of a people's. Look at this little festival right now. This is beautiful. Give me a second. Um, those. This. Now. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. I am pleased to announce that this year's Vinlesa Fest has officially begun. We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Let oh, the wind lead. Let well, the wind lead. Wind lead. Hmm. So many 
people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Uh, who? Just some tone deaf bard. But <laughs> he's also a know it all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. Venti's back. Venti. Use a second, please. Okay, I'm going to buy. What the? F hey, Tone Deaf Bard! Venti, my boy. It's so nice to see you again. Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey Razor, how have you been? Do you know Razor? Uh, he's such a dumb All question. Right. He's the god. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? The 300 his years. His parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside. And there's a label on it that says, Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine. And the brewing methods go way, way back. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I yeah. I a little rhyme called, well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? Yeah, please. My boy, please. A song. Not easy to understand, but still want to hear. Nice. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. Oh. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear. Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away. As we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Yeah. Like wine. A little sweet, but now heads <laughs> don't understand. That's no more reason. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. Yeah, exactly, that's the same. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope, Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. <laughs> Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? Yeah, you please. Understand me. I'm not trying no, to make what? you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. 
If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! <sighs> We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. <laughs> I trust. I want to try. And that's the spirit razor. To make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. By revealing, by relieving their actions, maybe we will understand. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Dunbar's <coughs> word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. I really hope so. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. Okay. Spirit. So, how about we meet again in two days? Oh. Same place right here? Okay. I will remember. Nigga, this is the time. <sighs> What a beautiful picture. What is this? Oh. Okay. Night. And Paimon, the best guide in Tevat, <laughs> humbly beg for your assistance. Whoa, did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? So oh, a sucker, wait. man. Haven't we met? Yes, in the main hall of the Knight of Herlingius headquarters. That's right. I'm Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. Yeah. The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jing mentioned that. So, what's happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. Oh, that's nice. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky... My experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. I understand. Yeah. Need to be so formal. So you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause. He's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Favonius. We'll be more than happy to do our part. As Paimon says, we are happy to help. I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Okay. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. Okay. The wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for wine making. Sell them raw ingredients, and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Nice. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, 
and you can cash that amount in for Fairbrew jellies. Oh, okay. So to sum up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh. Sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. We are very good at this. R really? Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavirme from Sumeru wishes to Goddamn. purchase 50 crates of fruits of the festival. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. Okay. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. Yeah. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. Okay. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers, and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. All right, sounds good. We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop. This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. That's so normal, man. Hello, Vente. Hi there, Georg. We're Shavirme's agents. He's asked us to order 50 crates of fruits of the festival for him. Oh? Did you say Shavirme? He's a regular customer of mine. Always orders around the same amount each time. But I digress. What price are you offering this year? Eh, eh, eh. My, my, my boy, calm down. Oh, la, 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 la. Okay, so you have a good mood, isn't it? I let's talk of this like this. Look. I know we've had a great harvest this year, and our production costs have gone down a fair amount. Okay. But even then, I'm afraid this price is just not doable. Okay, okay, I see. So you want to play like that? Do you want to play a game? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. 30,000. Please, accept this. Hmm. A little lower than I was hoping for, but he's a reliable customer. I think I can make it work. As usual, I will arrange for someone to deliver the goods directly to Shaverme's place of business. You won't have to worry about a thing. Just make sure you keep hold of this receipt. All right, okay. let's keep bringing the funds in. We gotta yeah. work quickly if we want to gather all these fair brew jellies in time. Bernard says we can approach this however we want, just as long as we raise all the funds we need. We get a commission for every order we help place for an international customer. So maybe it's not worth trying to sell loads of ingredients to the wine merchants. Still, just to make sure we've covered everything, let's take a look at the other wine merchants. Oh, goddamn. Oh, this is so long. Please, I need to fight. Traveler, Paimon, you're Barbara. here. Barbara! Hey, it's Barbara! Happy Winley's Fest. Happy Winley's Fest. Thanks. And happy Vine Lisa Fest to you, too. Vine Lisa Fest, this okay. This festival is one of the most popular ones in Mondstadt. I'm so happy I ran into you guys here. I hope you have a great time. Oh, also, I heard from Bernhard that you're collecting fair brew jellies. I'm just curious, are you helping out with the Knights of Favonia's charity event? Yeah. We sure are! Everybody's gotta do their part, right? The stall isn't up and running yet. We're busy raising funds so they can open for business. There's sure to be a bunch of other problems to deal with once it's open, but whatever comes up, we'll deal with it! That Wonderful. is the spirit, Paimon. <laughs> They're lucky to have you. Now that you've joined the team, I just know it'll be a huge success. Thanks for the encouragement. I helped out a small charity sale for the Knights once, too. Although, my only contribution was standing out front and singing. Oh, and I also 
compliment the bard, Venti, there. He even persuaded me to perform an impromptu song with him. Nice. The music he plays is quite refined and elegant. At first, I didn't want to sing too loudly in case I ruined the style he was going for. But he sang a harmony to guide me in, and before long, we were sounding great. In the end, the audience loved it, and we sold a lot at the event. So Barbara's worked with the tone deaf bard before? Yes, I wish I... I wish I could have been there to hear it. Please, sing again. Sing for us. Yeah. Too bad we couldn't fit it into the schedule this year. Why? The Church of Favonius wants to hold a sung poetry event somewhere with a nice view during the festival. Which means I have to go to rehearsal. Go do what you have to do, it's alright. Sounds like we've each got our own important work to do. Let's give okay. it all! Oh, thank you both. Well, maybe I can't stay here and sing, but I still want to do a little something to contribute. I can... um... I can help promote your stall. Yeah. Hmm. Should I make some big posters? Or maybe some flyers to hand out? I'll have to pick a memorable slogan, too. And maybe it'll seem more sincere if I sign them. Oh, then again, maybe telling people in person would be more effective. Wow! With Barbara helping out on the marketing side, this charity event will get loads more attention! It's fine, really. It won't take me too long. Oh, now I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> Let me think about it a little more and talk to some other people about their marketing experience. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you later. See you, Barbara. And, um, the Knights and the Church of Favonius are really proud of you. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Aw, thanks! We'll do our best! Paimon's even more motivated than ever now. We gotta yeah. make sure we do a really great job here. In charity and creativity... <laughs> oh. In charity and creativity, you must use the following two methods to gather around funnels before you open your charity shops. Sell wine making ingredients to wine merchants, help others, outlander customers, complete their orders and collect. Oh, okay. Oh. This is. fine thing. I can tell you. Paimon is so cute. Oh, those eyes. I'll be back, I'll be back. Shoot. Mm. Okay, so... Like... Who's gonna make his? Who's gonna secure some? Please, where is this? Okay. So, guys, this was a pleasure playing these few minutes with you. Myself, I'm asking to myself if I'm really playing or listening to dialogues because the 20 minute episode is going to be hard. In this game, they talk so much. Oh. But I'm enjoying myself right now. I hope you to you enjoy yourself. Just let sign right now. Yeah, I need to change his weapon, I know. So thank you. This was the end of Act 1 of this 
songs of play i don't even remember the name so i'm going to continue making this file then in next episode maybe you'll see i have advanced a little more and this is the eye of anubis for the end goodbye everybody thank you